This is model F spacebar. Uh, the only place to get these are on model F keyboards. Uh, it has a uh, thinner wire than the model M spacebar. Model M spacebar you can get new ones from Unicomp. Uh, but uh, if you need to replace one of these because oh maybe because the uh, the top of it got a big gouge in it or uh, or maybe the uh, maybe the maybe it got crushed or something like that <coughs> you'll want to order one of these uh, model M space bars from Unicomp and then just switch out this wire uh, you need to get a wire that's thick on the ends so that it goes into the mount points here uh, but thin in the middle so that it'll go into the mount points on the keyboard um, and that's that's what we're making here today uh, the way we make this is uh, we use a thin wire uh, like this <clears throat> and we use uh, tubing like this. These are both stainless. Uh, we're going to put the tubing over the wire, bend the wire, uh, and just have this tubing at the ends. So let's do that. First thing to do is uh, cut up some of the tubing. Uh, got a couple of small pieces here, but let's cut a couple more. I've already marked this out. Um, I recommend using uh, one inch pieces of tubing. Uh, these aren't one inch, these are three quarter inch. Uh, that's because I promised people um, that I would make them some space bars and I didn't have enough tubing, so uh, uh, not for one inch tubing, uh, one inch ends, so uh, I'm making them with three quarter inch ends. You really should only cut these with the uh, with the Dremel tool. Don't use the wire cutters. Uh, it will it will uh, collapse the tubing. Uh, also, don't use wire cutters on the wire uh, because it'll deform the end, and you won't be able to get the tubing over the end. We'll probably see that on one of these because I think at the uh, uh, where they make these little one foot long pieces, I think they use a, a wire cutter uh, that. Uh, has a problem with the ends. So let's uh, let's start bending. <clears throat> uh, here's my bending jig. Wire goes behind there. I'm going to use a larger or longer piece of tubing here. Uh, it's the uh, the piece of tubing, the point of it is to uh, prevent it from bending in the middle. Same thing with the jig, its whole purpose of it is to prevent it from bending in the middle and only bend right there. at the corner. Uh, 
you'll notice this is uh, uh, cut there isn't exactly uh, 90 degrees. That's because this is uh, uh, spring tempered stainless steel. Um, so you have to overbend and then let it come back. Uh, we're now just going to replace that with one of these. And put it on this side of the jig. If you use one inch long tube sections, then this uh, this part right here, you don't have to worry too much about. Uh, but because I use three quarter inch tube sections, I need to uh, make sure I've got about a quarter inch of tube. Uh, extending beyond that. I just clamp that down tight. See that's that's half of it. I can clean this up a little bit. Yeah, I'll clean that up later. Let's do the other side. Again, I'm going to use this longer piece of tube. Looks like the other side of this wire is a bit deformed, so I have to cut it.
we go. Place this in piece. wire there. Enough tube. Before you tighten that all the way. There we go. So it's holding the wire nice. See that? Okay. <clears throat> and I'll just take a little bit of uh, adjustment to get those uh, last little bends just 90 degrees. Bar. Let's see. Let's get this a little bit better here. There. Okay. Let's see how it fits. Again, here's the original model F spacebar. Here's model M spacebar. Snaps in. That's how you make a uh, model F spacebar when you out of the model M spacebar. That's it. Thanks for watching.